Squatting is one of the best exercises. There is a huge number of photos and videos on the internet that show how much people changed after doing squats every day. In this video, I'll tell you what happens to your body if you do squats regularly. So, watch this video to the end, it will be interesting. So, firstly, there are different types of squats. You can squat with your own weight. You can squat with additional weights, it may be dumbbells in your hands or a barbell on your shoulders. You can also do a squat jump. However, most people who decide to squat do it in the classic way. Legs are shoulder width apart or slightly wider and squat to the point where their thighs are parallel to the floor. Which muscles work during the squats? The first thing that comes to mind is probably the hips and buttocks. In fact, if you start listing them, then there is a huge amount of muscles. These are the gluteus maximus, minimus, and medius muscles, the quadriceps muscle and the biceps muscle of the thigh, semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles of the thigh. Adductors, hip flexors, calf muscles, rectus abdominal muscles, oblique abdominal muscles, transverse abdominal muscles, and spinal erectors. In fact, half of the body is involved in this exercise. So, the first effect that you will notice is the strengthening of all those muscles that I have just listed. That is, not only the legs but also the abs. Squats will affect muscle growth. The muscles will begin to stand out, it will become noticeable. That is why there are so many before and after photos of how people have transformed. Because for example, running and cycling have virtually no effect on muscle growth. While squats affect on it and will have an effect on your appearance too. Therefore, those people who have not been involved in sports before and have set themselves a challenge to squat every day will have significant changes in appearance just in a month. If they take before and after pictures, the difference will be noticeable. The second effect is weight loss. Because daily squats are significant physical activity. The body's consumption of calories increases, the metabolism accelerates. Therefore, those people, who squat, not only pump up their muscles but in general, become more ripped and lose fat. The next significant advantage is the improvement of blood circulation and strengthening of the cardiovascular system. Thanks to this exercise, the tone of the heart muscle increases and blood flow to both the heart and the periphery improves. As well as the circulation of venous blood in the lower part of the body will significantly improve since we work with our legs. The next point, squats help us to improve posture. Of course, with a certain proviso. If we perform them in the correct technique. Not crooked, but with a straight back, with a deflection in the lower back. As I said, squats strengthen the lower back muscles, and this will help us with posture. The next point is that your endurance will increase because squats have a very great effect on the work of respiratory system. Increase the vital capacity of the lungs and, in general, teach us to control and coordinate our breathing correctly. We go down on the inhale, rise on the exhale. This is the basic principle of any strength workout. We make any effort on exhalation and any relaxation on inhalation. And therefore, squats will be beneficial for overall endurance and for our respiratory system as well. The next item is the mobility of your hips and ankles. The fact is that regular squats will significantly improve the mobility of your limbs. And if knee and lower back pain is a result of a sedentary lifestyle, then squats with the right technique will help to treat them. As I said, not only the legs are involved in squats, but also the core. Core is the muscles of the abdomen and lower back. So, squats will pump them perfectly, especially if there is some kind of additional weights. Of course, if you want to squat with a barbell on your shoulders, then it is extremely important to do it with the correct technique, because in this exercise, you can make a lot of blunders very easily. Squatting with a barbell on your shoulders is a very dangerous exercise that must be done under the supervision of a competent instructor or an experienced athlete who will show you personally how to do it correctly and tell you where you may be wrong. But there are also more harmless modifications, such as squat jumping. So, this type of squat will pump our core very well. It happens because the participation of the stabilizing muscles of the body are required during our cycle. And the strong core will be very useful to you. For example, as a method to reduce the risk and prevent back injuries. Well, it must be said about the different styles of squats. So, the first type is the classic squat. 
We place our legs shoulder width apart, arms along the body. While inhaling, we take the pelvis back, bend our knees to a right angle, and when we exhale, we return to the starting position. The next type is the plie squat. There is much more emphasis on the gluteal muscles. We spread our legs much wider than the width of the shoulders, turn the socks outward at a right angle, keep our hands above the waist, and also bend our knees to a right angle. The next type, which I have already talked about, is the squat with a jump, or a squat jump. These exercises are used by sprinter runners or, for example, people who are professionally involved in football, where they need to accelerate and run quickly. We start it in the same way as with the classic squat. We place our legs shoulder width apart, but we squat sharply, so as to jump. And as soon as our feet touch the floor, we immediately begin to squat again. By the way, friends, write in the comments how you squat or maybe you just planning to start squatting. Write in the comments and if you like this video, push the like button and subscribe to my channel.